discussion. During this discussion, we will try to find those mechanisms of control over finances. So, uh, uh, constructive control, because uh, the trust between administration and the parents uh, is really important, and uh, this should be transparent, and a lot have, uh, has been done in order to um, provide this. So, um, what should be changed? Uh, in the view of the ministry and uh, um, taking into account the opinion of the parents in order to use this moment when people want to control something for uh, constructive work, not uh, for formal reporting and not for trying to find, uh, uh, tr uh, not for witch hunting. And this can happen, we have such things. And uh, I will look at my phone from time to time. And uh, this is because many people watch us online and uh, I, um, uh, uh, people will send questions uh, um, to me. So I will look at uh, them up. So um, what should be done in order to improve control over schools? Uh, so, um, in this triangle of administration, uh, parents and um, authorities. So, um, then we will have Q&A session and you will be able to provide your comments. So, we will have up to seven minutes uh, each. We have one and a half hour on the whole and I would like to thank um, such a cooperation project that is one of the projects of USAID. And uh, this project uh, helps us fight uh, corruption and uh, not just to search for those who are guilty, but uh, to find the constructive uh, approach um, in the triangle of administration, uh, communal enterprises and uh, citizens in such a triangle. So I, I give the floor to Oksana Makarenka, advisor to the Minister of Education and the Science of Ukraine. This ministry contributed a lot to provide such control, whether it works and what is the main, and uh, what should be done in Kiev and in the regions. Kiev is the pilot region, but in each region they have their own uh, peculiarities. What should be done in order that this uh, discussion between uh, directors, uh, com um, communal enterprises and the parents uh, was uh, that this dialogue uh, would be really constructive. So uh, we should speak not about the control, but about the um, space of partnership between uh, uh, the st stakeholders uh, uh, in order to uh, promote the interests of children at school. So the children were able to develop their um, talents and uh, uh, this project uh, should contribute to the lives of children and to prevent many conflicts that exist now. What is the problem uh, at schools? For many years, uh, education was underfinanced, its development was underfinanced, and uh, many uh, principals addressed parents, uh, asked them for money because they needed to uh, carry out repair works and uh, it became a practice and the uh, principals of schools and the uh, parents um, associations, they are all different. What uh, has changed? First, uh, the law that says that as of today, school is uh, obliged to report about all revenues and uh, expenditures. Um, so why this norm is revolutionary? Because uh, um, these uh, pockets, they are, were not transparent. Budget, pocket, and parents' money, and uh, um, money of the parents' association, they were not transparent, so uh, they just asked for money. And uh, Zoya said it correctly. Uh, so they just wanted to get money to provide uh, it to the so-called god of uh, education. And uh, um, uh, there were parents' uh, associations uh, that uh, were like 
uh, collectors, and uh, for parents it was difficult to understand for what they provided this money uh, for. So uh, they couldn't understand where and for what this money was spent for, whether it was really necessary for their children. So uh, the law was changed and all the money uh, should be transparent. And we informed as a ministry uh, to uh, all the um, uh, departments uh, in the regions that uh, they should uh, um, provide this information on the sites of the uh, schools and this uh, norm cannot be violated. And also the matter of responsibility, whether everyone was responsible and how to organize control in order that these reports be transparent, not just some documents that are on the internet. Uh, and. Uh, um, at the level of community, at the level of schools, uh, we should uh, elaborate this form of control in order that everyone understands it. And uh, the next step that will be able to change the situation is the uh, competition for the position of the principal of the school. Uh, previously, the directors uh, have been appointed uh, by the Department of Education, and now in Kiev they established a pilot project uh, and uh, selection of the principals uh, procedure was established. So uh, uh, all principals, um, uh, so parents and community and um, uh, public organizations, they will vote uh, in order that uh, this director is accountable, uh, accountable before them. So. And uh, uh, he should uh, transparently report, otherwise he won't be re-elected. And uh, uh, this will also bring forward this norm. And the third, uh, why it is necessary to establish control in the framework of decentralization more and more money and uh, authority is provided to, to the regions. Uh, previously, everything was centralized uh, and uh, people said that uh, in the ministry uh, there is maybe not corruption but not transparent mechanisms uh, and uh, uh, they uh, do not understand what uh, uh, these schools need. But now money uh, is going to the regions. Of course, in the Kiev this is more, but uh, in the regions there is some underfinancing, so the situation in different regions is different. There is a, a sub subvention that distributes this funds, so there are mechanisms uh, and uh, um, uh, there are um, um, uh, multi-layered formulas uh, uh, in the budget for this, but the um, buying of some uh, washing substances, uh, uh, some other um, things, this will be one billion provided for the new educational environment uh, for the new Ukrainian school. It is important that this money is for the benefit of children. They should spend this money properly, and these mechanisms are really important. And uh, I would like to give the floor to my colleagues, uh, and this is a joint responsibility and a step towards partnership. The, pa uh, the partners should be fair, they should be transparent, and uh, I believe that in this way we prevent the conflicts and each school can uh, open its own account and it is allowed uh, by law to get financing from different sources, including the help of in international institutions and uh, uh, also there should be proper transparent reporting on this. Uh, so uh, there is an opportunity to spend uh, money for the benefit. but. How can we establish what this benefit is? And I would like to give the floor to uh, Lena Fedanian, Director of Department on Education, Science, Youth and Sports, Kiev City State Administration. Uh, often in UCMC we um, um, stated that transparency doesn't mean that everything is clear. So people brought some uh, bags of with documents uh, um, and uh, uh, with the um, answers from different agencies. So um, uh, we should provide proper information to people. So uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, at the beginning, you 
said the really important thing. You said that everything should be built on trust. And I would like to say that uh, in the budget of uh, Kiev, the quarter of the budget uh, is for education. So the financing, financing goes for the uh, institutions and for salaries. And uh, uh, educators, uh, they are teachers, uh, whether they are officials or whether they work uh, in uh, nursery schools, they are taxpayers. We are taxpayers. And uh, we want that our taxes be distributed transparently. And in 2015, we've crea we created uh, an electronic map. I, I would like to show it to you. And uh, this was the first step in order to um, provide information about the financing of the institutions. So, so we introduced uh, all institutions. We identified what uh, were the main indicators. So please. You can find information about. So I uh, visited one hundred uh, two hundred and seventy fifth school, and um, I. Uh, if we enter, any citizen of Ukraine can enter the number of school, and uh, then um, you can. Uh, you. Uh, uh, so you shouldn't mention the region, just uh, put the number in the box and uh, here there is a map and uh, there is a school and there is an electronic passport of the school and you can find all necessary information here. Address, uh, name of director, electronic address and uh, here are different categories. So. Uh, different characteristics uh, concerning um, number of students, uh, uh, building and technical characteristics, uh, premises, uh, finances, uh, results of independent testing. After Article uh, 30 was introduced, we introduced monitoring and uh, uh, they like to discuss it in the press to assess schools according to external um, ex um, testing, but this testing we believe in not, is not. Uh, uh, sh uh, so we should not only consider the um, um, external assessment, but we have an agency on education in Kiev. It is created a lo uh, long time ago, and it. Uh, uh, Studies the level of knowledge of student concerning different subjects and uh, uh, also uh, carry out independent testing uh, electronically or on uh, paper. This was created by Ms. Grinevich when she uh, headed uh, the main department of education in Kiev. And uh, we opened uh, here the file about one school. You can see the overall. Um, indicators, and you can find more detailed information about class, uh, classes, uh, students, and uh, subjects. Only uh, the workers of educational institution can see this information. Also about financing, uh, starting 2015, uh, there are overall indicators Uh, about uh, the um, uh, uh, there are five uh, hundred students in this school, and uh, um, the um, information is provided about the um, amount of money, and uh, um, the figure changed from 2015, 14, and 2017, 20, uh, uh, and 4. So um, this is about salary and uh, uh, energy um, supplies. So uh, one indicator changed from um, zero, z zero two to Two percent. So uh, this is about, uh, and this year in 2017, 
uh, kindergartens were added. Now all institutions uh, get money for household uh, stuff, and uh, uh, parents provide money. And uh, uh, if uh, um, if the um, air, uh, sphere is uh, uh, provided for, then um, uh, no uh, parents' money is needed. Uh, so um, they ask parents for money in order to replace windows. And in the city program, uh, there is money envisaged for this uh, replacement of windows. And this information was made public. And one um, director was fired because they revealed uh, that uh, the money there was a manipulation by the head of this uh, educational institution. This is a big work uh, for the officials in the uh, educational departments and the heads of the educational institutions. It needs renewal. And what uh, ha have we done this year? So we have uh, the list of. Uh, things that uh, were bought, the inventories that were bought at uh, um, budget uh, expense. 36 was for um, household um, staff. And we demanded that there should be proper categories, for example, toilet paper, uh, washing uh, detergents, and uh, uh, then the analysis of the payments. So this is live page. And the information is constantly updated uh, about what was bought by this institution. And uh, now it is uh, downloading. And uh, so on this page. We can clearly see where these goods were bought and uh, uh, um, what this institution spent money for. So this was done in Disnyansky region as a pilot project. So we see here uh, the payment uh, orders for these goods. And this is important. So you may see all the payment orders. Why in Disnyansky region? Because uh, the Disnyansky region is the only region that uh, uh, for a long time, starting uh, uh, 2000, so they introduced the project. And uh, each institution, each school has uh, its own accountant. That's why it is easier to provide this information. So um, about control, it is easy to have control where you have responsibility. I visited two education institution today, institutions today. So how do they highlight the information? How do they provide openness of the information? We started to do this in uh, um, uh, 2015, everything that concerns the budget funds, we disclose this information and about the collection of uh, funds from parents, our principal position, if parents uh, decided that they want to uh, provide uh, this uh, uh, money as charity, they should demand reporting uh, about uh, the uh, about uh, this money, where this money was sp uh, was spent for. So what we saw, um, we were not um, satisfied th with this because we uh, need information in electronic form, and uh, they have a referral to the e address. So you can go to the website. You can see electronic page of the institution. You can see the uh, financing uh, page and. Uh, uh, Everyone can find information there. We didn't insist on the single form 
and uh, maybe we won't provide the single form for everyone. Maybe we will recommend the best, but it is still all ahead. But this is uh, an area of joint responsibility. So financial uh, reporting of the school. And here we may see the report on charity contributions. You can open this category and the parents can find information there. So what we disagree with. Uh, so this reporting, uh, the person who prepares uh, this uh, reports, uh, this person should sign the report. And the um, stands that we saw, we were not satisfied with them because they were placed in uncomfortable places and uh, uh, some people go to the site and there are those who use uh, uh, paper format, but uh, uh, this is uh, still ahead of us and we will continue to work on this issue. Thank you. I have the whole list of questions. I hope I will have time to ask the questions. Uh, uh, Ms. Elena Parfionova, co-founder of NGO Parent Source. Uh, the same question to you, how to improve the situation to have more trust and what is the situation in uh, regions, uh, uh, in the regions of the country, the situations differ. Do you have information about this? Uh, good afternoon. First, let's start with this uh, so Article 30 of the law on education. It is a revolutionary one indeed, but uh, we have several questions as uh, schools should provide all information on the sources of funding but the administrator of school he is not the administrator of budgets uh, hi how director can report on this uh, so uh, in the regions uh, the information will be the reporting will be provided starting with uh, February 2nd. The majority will provide reports, uh, submit reports on uh, February 1st. We paid attention that the item should uh, indicate additional payment services, staffing. This is not available. 99% of the uh, so um, lacking this information. Uh, the articles remain uh, closed document. Uh, additional paid services, they are not indicated. We do not understand whether there are some people who rent premises uh, at schools uh, via accounts. Uh, of district education department or via school account, the director has uh, nothing in common with uh, money, uh, state budget money or parents' money. Uh, in where some financial autonomy is present there, the director can report uh, under those uh, provisions uh, of Article 30 of the Law on Education. We will be able to respond and to see for the responsibility of the headmaster of school for what he see, what we saw in Kiev as to the reporting. Some Excel tables without uh, any surnames, uh, any responsible persons, uh, uh, some multicolor reports with photographs of children without uh, specific amounts. As Article 30 foresees uh, that all material improvements made by the parents, uh, the school should report on them, uh, indicating the amounts of money, what was the cost of the purchased property, how director can report on this article when no teacher and no director didn't get the money. Uh, when it, uh, it was the money of charities, we also cannot report because according to the law on charity foundations, uh, the charity report uh, 
must report to its founders. So if the founder does not request report, then report would not be issued. And financial year also differ from the academic year. We will not uh, see uh, the remainders of funds. Do we have them or not? And the same concerns paid services very often uh, uh, parents uh, mm, complained about some uh, additional uh, uh, out of school uh, trainings. Uh, we do not know how parents pay for them. This financial autonomy of schools is very important. This is only the first step which we have done already, and we move forward to financial autonomy of schools to their own settlement accounts because I am sure that the parents of the same institution can help to watchdog uh, schoolmasters uh, when in Facebook we do this, uh, but we need systemic work when, where parents will see on the websites uh, that the expenditures are uh, this amount and uh, the proceeds are the other amount. I will not say that the uh, situation is sad, but uh, uh, we have um, serious impetus uh, to start thinking over this uh, situation. Before Article 30 was adopted, we have never required such financial reporting from schoolmasters. And uh, the heads of schools, they should become responsible and accountable. Uh, can you, I ask you one small question. Uh, can I conclude that uh, to report on charity foundation money, we need the structure of uh, charities uh, reporting, or some accountant uh, should be in place uh, who will explain everything. Do you have any best cases where such managers were engaged? Uh, charity contributions of parents, they uh, became mandatory, in fact. Uh, this uh, should not be charity funds. Uh, I agree that there should be special account of the Department of Education in every district. And uh, the question is uh, that school principals, they should have a uh, right to use these funds. This is the budget account, and there is specifics uh, how to use this money. 3,000 krivnas can be used without tender procedure. Maybe something should be simplified in this procedure. I am not sure that the parents will be ready to maintain the director of the charity foundation, the accountant of the charity. Uh, to provide them salaries. My experience proves uh, that in Kiev we have several educational institutions which had uh, three uh, charity funds, uh, and now parents uh, have only uh, debts. Uh, and those uh, charity foundation heads disappeared. And the, even the education, Department of Education approved and signed the, the contract with these charity foundations. And there is no foundation. There are uh, cases in the prosecutor's office, but nobody can find uh, any f facts about the situation, and the parents are in debt. I would like to give the floor uh, to Zoya Zvenitsikivska, co-founder of Parents Control NGO. 
uh, whether the parents uh, are ready to watch dog my organization is named parents control it means watch dogging me as a mother and as an activist i wanted this uh, cooperation with school i had my money which i want to give to the school because i see that school need assistance and i have the opportunity the possibility to do something for school for example to give money for excursions and uh, i think that uh, all of us together can care about school and the department of uh, education introduced this financial reporting and i'm glad about that because i cannot uh, give money to some aliens who i don't know I can give money when I understand what for I pay, pay. And I was happy that the Department of Education proposed financial reporting and the order was issued, which was binding for headmasters of schools. And I uh, thought uh, I would bring this order to the parents. I saw the report. I am a mother. Uh, you know, sometime ago in the Soviet uh, times, uh, we had maps uh, at the entrance uh, to some parks and the maps uh, in foreign countries differ from the maps in the Soviet Union. The only thing was that the uh, uh, maps in in uh, foreign countries demonstrate you are here uh, the soviet union map does not indicate where you are no baseline was provided because you didn't understand where you are these report uh, reports which i saw is the same no baseline uh, the reports demonstrate how much money were provided by the parents, uh, by the state. For example, 400 toilet paper rolls were bought. But we didn't understand whether this is enough or not. If we have 1,000 uh, 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 school children, this means that this is not enough. The, then this was uh, toilet paper for teachers. Very good. But tell us how many toilet paper rolls we need for our school children, our children. A model needs uh, of a school children are available in the departments of education how many toilet paper rolls per one uh, school boy school girl are needed how many detergent needed everything is available uh, these norms they are available at the department of education if i see these norms i will understand the percentage paid three percent or a hundred percent of the needs were satisfied were paid for and i didn't see the position of the headmaster they reported how much money they received they demonstrated the amount of money we received uh, the following amount and we painted the walls but i i didn't know how long ago the same uh, walls uh, had been painted before my school is uh, was built in 1939 it needs repairs uh, 
So the maintenance and repair should be planned. Uh, an annual plan should be in place. I should see what headmaster plans to do within a year. And uh, then I can understand whether the money were provided for what was on the plan. Uh, the, uh, these reports seem like information from space to space. Nos no details. The items uh, uh, are provided uh, where I can't understand uh, how can I uh, use them. The very interesting item is guard uh, of school security guards. How much money uh, parents pay for security guard? Uh, why saw that we pay 344,000 for security? As for me, this is too much, dramatically much. But maybe this is not big amount. Give me the tender proposal, the bids and the tender procedure. I asked the, the uh, schoolmaster uh, schoolmaster said we made a contract, but 100% of this contract are paid by parents. So my proposals are for us to cooperate in better manner. I require uh, the norms, uh, the needs which were calculated by the departments of education, by the Minister of Education, how many paper rolls are needed, uh, the girls' toilet leg doors. In the city of Kiev in the year 2018, uh, the Essex lessons are uh, delivered, but there are no doors in the ladies' Uh, water closet. And second, I believe the headmaster should present to me his or her plan for a year, annual plan for uh, money she needs. Uh, I had a talk with the headmaster. He, she said we can't do anything without parents' money because uh, our tubing system is obsolete. How much money do you need annually? I can't calculate this. How can I get to know how many times the tubes uh, will fail? Last year it was eight times so the headmaster should not uh, demonstrate uh, uh, his lack of competence uh, he or she should demonstrate that he has enough uh, competence in business and household matters the system and vision of directors uh, we try to match them i would be the first who will bring the money so we face the same situation, not in school. We asked the ministry about the statistics uh, on energy and economics, and uh, it happened that all statistics in this country works in accordance with obsolete schemes. Uh, so we had to ask uh, about this information, and it was difficult to obtain proper information. So a lot of projects try to change the way information is transferred and uh, it should be properly regulated by law and in what, how can we, uh, how can we um, make, uh, how can we help our di directors to become uh, good managers and whether it is realistic. Good afternoon, everyone. Before answering your question, I would like to agree with uh, Zoya that uh, the principal of the school is a person who should 
properly manage educational institution and uh, to provide for children and uh, the principal if he tries to solve all the issues this will lead to uh, authoritarian model so the principal should be an authoritative figure but he cannot resolve all the issues by himself i work as a on a position of director for one year and uh, now we closely cooperate with parents and uh, um, we establish proper cooperation between uh, parents, uh, uh, children, and administration. So we get together, we try to forecast the development of our institution and um, uh, the opportunities for um, children and administration and parents and a year ago we tried to do it in such a way there is um, such a notion of as budget request and we tried to form this budget request it was in February last year we monitored the issue of the needs of the class of what is needed for the classroom what is needed for the uh, other facilities and we created a huge list of the needs of the institution in order to, to uh, carry out repair works and to create new educational space to create comfortable conditions for the development of children not only for education but also for recreation so uh, what we achieved we understood that uh, there are many internal issues in each educational institutions they are individual and they do not coincide with the needs of other educational institutions and uh, this uh, budget request is the information about the needs um, uh, concerning the uh, repairs and uh, uh, concerning other issues and we formed this request and uh, uh, someone needed uh, um, uh, five puzzles and who, uh, someone needed t 20 computers. So the region formed a request uh, in accordance with the general needs. And uh, um, um, here we have a number of needs uh, of educational institutions and uh, also parents participated in the process. They identified the uh, prospect and the need uh, to uh, carry out some uh, repairs or to uh, paint some walls in the corridors so what we have uh, in the end so we are moving together uh, to some program in which we um, envisage how to help uh, educational institution and from uh, my own experience and I have been working in education for 20 years I saw that today the state and local bodies uh, they take care of um, education when I can mention simple figures mm, and we got about one million grivnas this year for our needs and uh, um, 400 is for uh, some minor things and it is easy to forecast uh, the amount of uh, toilet paper for one uh, child so children they do not only use this toilet paper for uh, the need they also can uh, also they use uh, uh, soap and uh, we should and uh, uh, we will have uh, uh, an interactive uh, um, parents uh, meeting and uh, we will also discuss the issue uh, that children should properly use uh, things and materials and uh, during this meeting i will report uh, about the previous year and about the prospects for the next year and uh, um, i uh, uh, i can openly uh, do this but also um, Aksana said about it uh, 
parents get information about the use of funds that they provide as charity contribution. Uh, and uh, the law envisages uh, the activity of uh, charity organizations, and they should report not only on request, but obligatory at least once a year. And parents' associations uh, should identify by the protocol, they should establish uh, the form of the uh, report and uh, um, uh, on the money they provide for the development of educational institutions. So uh, I believe that I uh, should be responsible before the parents and children, and I uh, uh, won the contest, and I have the right to be the principal of the school, and I'm ready for this transparency that is uh, lobbied, and uh, I have a site on which we uh, highlight information about the um, budget money, and also we cooperate with the organization that reports uh, on the spending of uh, parents' money, and also we have a stand uh, with updated information uh, about the use of uh, funds. Uh, and uh, I believe that uh, we are uh, on the right way, and uh, we uh, I believe that uh, parents uh, uh, trust uh, me. I see my personal development and uh, the development of uh, my educational institution. That, uh, And uh, of course, we need trust, because we cannot do this without trust. So should the directors be uh, transformed into managers? And how uh, is it easy? No, it is rather difficult, because uh, uh, school principals, they have uh, a pedagogical education, not uh, financial education. Maybe some of them have uh, uh, legal education, uh, and they can find uh, the ways uh, how to use the funds and how to compile the prospect plans, but there should be proper training for school principals because we are on the way to financial independence. And it is evident that as of today, I think about it, but I um, uh, have some fear about it because I do not know whether I have proper knowledge uh, because uh, there should be proper example. and. Uh, also, there should be training for directors in order to transform them uh, into these uh, managers, not just administrators. Um, thank you, uh, Andrei Melnik. Um, Andrei Melnik, director of uh, Kiev Specialized School number uh, 203. So uh, what cooperation do you have with those people who will re-elect you. So I was uh, elected according to the previous law. And what situation we face now. Um, so here we uh, said this wor uh, word uh, trust uh, many times. So uh, there should be trust among the participants of uh, this process. I have been working at school for a long time, and I have a dream. My dream is that parents shouldn't provide any funds to schools. Um, no, not a single copec. Uh, they should pay taxes, and the state should redistribute them in such a way that the school is uh, provided with everything it needs. So I believe that this is ideal. We should aspire to it. And in this situation, I hated the parents' uh, meetings uh, in 1990s when a um, uh, teacher came to parents and asked for different things. And uh, uh, I understood that I uh, was uh, acting not like a teacher should act. So if um, 
doors are needed for the toilets. I remember that uh, there weren't doors in the toilet in the Soviet schools and everything else. So um, there is an ideal model, and uh, I believe that we are just at the beginning, and uh, the new law on education, it uh, uh, was in uh, uh, effect only for three months. Uh, and uh, um, I had to report on the 1st of December, and I couldn't imagine how I could do it. I wasn't taught how to do it. I, uh, uh, I am a historian by profession, and, and I'm not a uh, I'm not a manager, I'm not a, uh, uh, and in many schools there are no accountants. There are sec some ex exceptions, of course. And um, I invented how I was going to report. So we gathered with other directors, we uh, provided advice uh, to each other, and we said that there are such and such examples. and. Uh, Honestly, it is difficult to start this year. What was done, it's a really, this is really a leap, not a step ahead. Maybe some people will say about false start, but the start uh, was done. And uh, what I would like to say, we can uh, easily solve the problems of the school principal in a way when I can say, here are your funds, uh, here there is 1,000 grivna for one, uh, for 900 we bought toilet paper and uh, 100 we have on our account. And we should understand that there, there will be dissatisfaction uh, and only if state pays for everything, so uh, the issue will be resolved. So um, children got accustomed to different quality of uh, uh, toilet paper at home. And I believe that I shouldn't know about the uh, parents' money that was spent. So when I <coughs> attend uh, parents' uh, uh, meetings, uh, I may say that, uh, for example, doors should be provided to the, uh, uh, there should be doors installed in the toilets, but um, uh, I uh, do not want to ask for money. And um, uh, also, my, uh, the parents of children of my class, they also uh, have uh, the needs that they see and the needs that I see, they differ, and we should discuss these issues, and we should decide what is more important. One more aspect is important. Um, we also have budget funds, and with uh, some extreme exceptions, director, the principal of the school, uh, should not have any relation to the money that the state allocates to the uh, educational institution. Um, and in the Snyansky region, uh, in school, they have an accountant and the administration. They uh, hold tenders, and uh, the system of state financing uh, it it is within the bodies of uh, local government, and uh, in the situation, the director uh, between the hammer and the hard place, and uh, he goes to the educational department with his budget request and said, uh, say that says that he needs this and that, and uh, uh, we have, for example, f 50 uh, schools and 50 different requests, but there is only one budget, and uh, this is the average temperature. Uh, so they buy what they can, and then the principal of the school um, reports on this. And uh, I swear that the main issue was why I should report on the funds and how can I do this? And uh, uh, the order was provided to me that uh, 
uh, there was another nine hundred and thirty about the three putting, but but uh, fifty tenders should be carried out by the department. So uh, you understand. Uh, so I do not have any uh, claims, any. Uh, complaints about your activity. So we also move to the independence, financial independence of schools, and in four years, maybe, I will think that four years ago the situation was really great when the regional department of education thought about these matters. And I won't ab be able to tell the parents. Uh, so. I'm historian, and uh, uh, I won't be able to say that it wasn't me who distributed the money, because this will be um, the issue within my authority. So uh, we present these reports, and we get the figures about the state financing. Uh, we get these figures from the Regional Department of Education. And uh, I have a function of the relay. I just provide information on the site. These figures were provided by uh, the Department of Education uh, of, the, of our region. Uh, so um, also, uh, here we face, uh, th there is no average picture. Each educational institution has its own picture. Um, sometimes there is no uh, charitable fund at all, and in other situations there are three charitable funds, and uh, uh, parents decide these matters, uh, um, and uh, they decide what they want to buy for money they provide. So this, can you imagine the discussion with parents where to spend uh, the money, for example, for warming of the uh, a sports hall or, or for uh, other important matters. So, Irina um, Kogut, expert of SEDAS think tank. So, what should be done this year? So, we, what should be done in order that in four years we have some positive results. Maybe these should be um, the uh, unified reporting, or specifics of uh, reporting. What should be done, in your opinion? Uh, I would like uh, to say that it was me who uh, is the author of this article thought uh, we thought it would be better uh, and it was refined late, late uh, but talking about the plan of work Mr. Andres said it right that we are only at the start of our pass uh, we need many changes uh, to introduce starting with the ministry this is the work for them uh, unfortunately, our law is a framework law, uh, the new law on uh, comprehensive uh, schools we, is uh, only been developed. Uh, we need collect all stakeholders, all teachers, parents, uh, and administrators and to address these issues because we do not have answers to the questions whether the director should be a financial uh, 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 specialist uh, and plan uh, issue plans uh, for the school development and the proof uh, professional development, career development plan uh, for mm, staffing. So we should understand how to distribute all these responsibilities because it is too much for one uh, schoolmaster. Uh, 
if there are 300 individuals, uh, 300 students at school, how director can um, make all tenders if the school is autonomous, not only in the matter of educational process, the law uh, quite clearly established these issues, but finances, money, uh, we uh, take this responsibility for money from uh, the departments of education and give it to he headmasters, but there are no uh, templates for reporting. Very many headmasters say we do not want to be accountants, we do not need this. Uh, Maybe there should be some skip uh, when uh, deputy headmasters along with parents uh, go to departments of education. Uh, departments of education will hire accountants or maybe other answers to settle this uh, uh, matter could be found. We should find answers to many other questions which uh, are even uh, more general, how to distribute budgets, uh, state budgets, uh, uh, state subventions uh, for teachers' salary. There is a concept uh, we need norms which uh, concerns not only toilet paper but also equipment, educational equipment and furniture, everything which schools need to maintain educational process and the ministry should develop not only norms but also say who is responsible persons. Uh, the problems uh, with uh, material status of school is also uh, the problem of uh, lack of responsible persons. Uh, this uh, matter has not been regulated so far, so the ministry should engage all stakeholders and in using this participatory approach uh, resolve the issue. After the, the what headmasters should do after the Ministry of Education complete their assignments? Uh, directors, uh, they will plan much. We are not talking of what they will uh, be planning in detail, not only toilet paper quantity. They should plan professional development of uh, teachers or repairs at schools. In the midterm, this is required from all local authorities, from the Ministry of Finances and schools also should come to this. Because this is a big problem so far, and directors, uh, headmasters of schools, along with uh, parents, uh, uh, they should agree on the role of headmasters, whether he will be just a manager and has the staff such as financial managers hired, or he, he or she will do this himself. And such parents as Ms. Zoya or Alona, they are just best cases. And if parents they want to, their children to get good education, uh, they will not only uh, register their children at schools, but they also should be responsible for something, not only for giving money to schools. Uh, this is uh, payment of taxes. And then uh, to watch dog where this money from state budget, national budget, and local budgets go. Uh, why from local budget we get this m amount of money for my school? Maybe my school need more money. But to think over these things, uh, we need financial transparency so that parents get this information. Uh, without this information, uh, conflicts will continue. Uh, 
Responsibility for school, for town, starts with cooperation, with participation, because we want uh, to build the participatory society, uh, participatory mechanisms. Uh, this is what we want to apply. This is the only guarantee for our country uh, to suffer less than in the past. Uh, we should take responsibility and take part in the processes. Thank you. Very interesting proposals. Uh, I'm glad that everyone around this table uh, are thinking over how to make lives of our school children better at schools. So the key issue is how to combine and everything. Uh, we have some time for the round of questions and answers. And after that, we will sum up our event. Leonid Khamekov, I am a candidate of economic sciences, and all my life I have been addressing the problems of improvement of uh, uh, management issues in economy and in education. Uh, we are my first question: Are you going to you the uh, good developments in practice? at higher educational institutions, because uh, nothing is being done there. The second question, manager or accountant hiring uh, is addressed very f uh, easily. Uh, just uh, use meetings of parents, so the decision is very easy. Uh, maybe well, well, uh, um, hold uh, a briefing to address this issue for higher education institutions. And now, uh, please give your recommendations uh, for the short term, term to parents uh, or headmasters uh, or ministry. Reforms are going, but they are not understandable. The drivers of these reforms should be maybe parents. What are your uh, pieces of advice uh, for the next year, uh, academic year? to be improved out of those uh, tools which we already have so that within one year we get results and may say that some improvements are achieved. That as of today we can report on how we have improved. We have quantitative indicators. First, as Ms. Serena said, uh, join us uh, uh, as agents of changes. The law say that we can finalize procedures of tenders uh, and reporting procedures and the even enlistment procedure to the first grade. You can uh, participate in different ways uh, by um, uh, s uh, explaining your best cases at our website. If you have such best case example, please share your experience with us and all the country. And we need the pool of best practices to understand where from to uh, we should learn from whom we should learn. The next is we uh, should uh, um, take part in development of the law on comprehensive education, and everyone can take part in development of legislation. 
and the third is to comply with the uh, regulations uh, uh, applicable and the laws. Uh, introduction of the new law has already started and this would be a new era of changes in the education area, but we will not change until we start tr uh, trust each other, finish. Uh, uh, people name teachers, uh, title them as candles of their nation. We cannot uh, uh, demand changes from teachers if we do are uh, not confident in them. We do not trust them. We just demand from them, and we criticize them for everything. We are for changes, even if we make mistakes. We uh, are ready to improve, and as his masters say, I agree with them. We mm, meet uh, with headmasters, with representatives of departments of education of districts, and uh, uh, it doesn't matter whether the association uh, comprises one person or one thousand persons. The, uh, main thing is that you are willing to change uh, the uh, status quo. Uh, the law envisages the steps forward, next steps, and we see that uh, not always an accountant position should be available at every school. In Poland there is an accountant uh, uh, who is responsible for three or four schools, but knows everything about the schools, not only lighting, not only furniture, but everything about their estimates, budget estimates and plans. I understand uh, uh, rather vague how to meet uh, the director. I know where his... Uh, uh, office is, but how can I get uh, uh, to uh, the meeting with representative of the Department of Education? I uh, feel that the world has changed and in the modern electronic world. Sometime I, uh, sometimes I get um, uh, messages to WhatsApp or Viber, and we can communicate in this uh, via these applications. Uh, uh, this uh, meetings or appointments. Uh, this is something from the old times when some uh, very. Uh, um, pathetic figure is sitting in some office. Uh, now, we, the managers, uh, we do not work eight hours a day. We are accessible for parents, uh, for public figures, for passers-by, uh, by telephone. Uh, your recommendations, please, Leona Parfenova. I think we should start discussion with authorities so that we understand where what share of taxes go to finance schools. I know the practices in the USA uh, when the uh, re re real estate tax uh, is divided. Uh, for example, 30% for maintenance of uh, fire st fighting station, 30% uh, for education. I should understand the percentage of tax which go to school to maintain schools. Uh, when a director, headmaster, defines how to use the money, my idealistic people, is my vision is which I want to achieve that in 12 years uh, being a mother I do not want to know how much toilet paper goes per one person I should understand that local authorities provide full uh, 
uh, maintenance course. Uh, as a mother, I want to take part in the life of school by uh, creating some uh, fairs, uh, some uh, performances, uh, or collecting money for um, provision of uh, existence of some uh, homeless dogs. Thank you, Ms. Zoya, please. My ad advice, my, my recommendations, they are not very specific. I believe that there is no school, there is no problems of schools. Uh, this is not an individual school and something else. Our society is the same, both in school and out of the doors of the school. The first recommendation is uh, for all stakeholders in the education process. Uh, every stakeholder should understand that uh, the situation has changed. Uh, it has, will never be like it was. Uh, many headmasters did not uh, suppose uh, that they will become encounters in some reason. Uh, some people do not believe, some headmasters and some parents do not believe in this. My first advice is uh, um, acknowledge that the past would not proceed. The past situation has already changed. There are no parents, no teachers, there are adequate people who understand that the changes uh, are inevitable and there are people who try uh, to make obstacles to this movement. Not every school has agents of changes. Maybe I am the only agent of change in my school and uh, I get everything in Viber from one group I was deleted because they hate me. Everything is normal, the situation is normal, but uh, I know that there are people who share my views. It would be uh, good if they are shoulder to shoulder with me at uh, parents' meetings. We need uh, to unite. I call on all headmasters uh, of schools to act today and now. Do not be afraid to study. All our life is a process of life learn, uh, learning. Only when we work uh, and put joint efforts and we are willing to change and we communicate more among each other, we will create joint platforms. Uh, we can do something good. Otherwise, uh, we will not get uh, good results. I call on headmasters uh, to hold joint events. I would like to thank our Department of Education in the city of Kiev the opportunity to uh, hold meetings, to be close to each other. Uh, we do not need appointments, visits by appointment. We should be more open. This is the way to gain more more confidence, so uh, I call on headmasters to become more open. Thank you. Mr. Andri, please tell us some of your recommendations. Uh, we have uh, made agreements with some technological companies about new chats, and they start with a statements of headmasters. Uh, Bear in mind the first, the second, and the third item. The m principal message is all people will be uh, touched by the reform of education. I call on the parents. Miss Irina told me very good phrase. Uh, 
do not uh, treat school as a safe box uh, uh, where you have uh, delivered your child. Someone pay for this uh, via taxes and even pay additional. Uh, I would be very glad uh, to accept proposals of parents. We should uh, uh, encourage uh, parents' initiatives, uh, communication. This is a crucial thing. There are no hours uh, to appoint visits of parents. This is catastrophe. Uh, all reforms would close uh, if uh, the schedule will be available for um, appointments. Uh, and uh, I call on my colleagues uh, to stop being afraid of parents. Uh, this is uh, fears which deter us from communication with parents. And I would like to call on you uh, together here uh, in one year time and to see what are our achievements and failures. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, and thank you.